Welcome to Info Simco. My name is Madison Fitzpatrick, and joining us in studio right now is Kate and Wookie from the Sir Frederick Banting Legacy Foundation. Hi, Kate. How are you? I'm great, thank you. How are you? And if you can't see, Wookie is there. He's just uh, sleeping, taking a little nap. So he is the Sir Frederick Banting Legacy Foundation's mascot. Hello. <laughs> so, Kate, for people that don't know, tell us a little bit about the foundation and what you guys do. Yeah, we're the Sir Frederick Banting Legacy Foundation in Allison, Ontario, and uh, we're the birthplace of Sir Frederick Banting, and we have um, a mission to fight diabetes and uh, preserve the legacy of Sir Frederick Banting. Amazing. So, in the fall, you guys are celebrating your 100th year of the Nobel Prize. So, tell us a little bit about that and basically what the foundation does for everybody in the community. Yeah, so uh, we're very excited that it's the 100th anniversary for the Nobel Prize because Banting did get the Nobel Prize in uh, 1923 and he is still the youngest recipient of this prize to this day in medical. So it's very exciting. Um, so we're hoping to, to have a little bit of a celebration with that. And uh, what we do is uh, fight diabetes through education and we try and do that um, on site or online, whatever is more convenient for people. Our biggest target is youth because type uh, 2 diabetes is affecting youth faster and harder than it is in adults. So if we can do anything to bring awareness to that situation, we, we try to do that and that's why we have our webinar program to try and yeah. you know get out to the schools because it's still challenging for schools to go on field trips and come to the site and realistically you're not able to go on more than one field trip so you're going to a different destination but I can come into your classroom and do a webinar and get that information that is necessary because type 2 diabetes is a preventable disease up to 58 percent and you can do things to try and prevent that from happening so if I can get the awareness out there eat right exercise don't smoke and watch your tummy girth then I'm helping our youth stay healthy and fighting themselves about not getting diabetes. Yeah, so tell us a little bit more about the webinar. So um, is it just for youth and in, in children in school or can other people join the webinars yeah. as well? Absolutely, our webinar program is for everybody. It is targeted grades four to 12 and groups. So if you're part of the Lions or you're part of Rotary or you're part of a historical group or a car group and you're just interested in getting information about diabetes or banting, you can take one of our webinar programs and actually new this year our webinar program is offered online or in person uh, in surrounding areas so we are in Alliston so if it's within a close proximity I can go into your school or I can go to your local group and have them come for example we have a sparks group coming and they're going to be taking our webinar and it's very exciting yeah absolutely um, and Besides the webinars, are there anything else that your foundation does throughout the year that people can get involved in? Absolutely. We're always looking for volunteers. Uh, we need people to sit out on site and help us when, volunteer, when people come in to visit because we only have one employee and that's me. The rest of my board is all volunteers. So the more volunteers we can get, the, the better it is for us. We try and have a barbecue in, um, in the fall every year around Doors Open. I don't know if you know that event, but there's a local community event called Doors Open where you do that. So we're hoping to do a barbecue then. We try and um, identify in 2021 was the 100th anniversary of the discovery of insulin. So we had a huge event. Even though it was COVID, we were still able to pull it off. So it was fantastic. So we are trying to get our awareness. Our big thing is trying to get local people understanding that we exist. Like we're the birthplace of Sir Frederick Banting, a famous guy. He co-discovered insulin and is right in our community. And people in the, our own backyard don't even know it exists so our biggest thing right now is to try and fundraise educate and get awareness that we even exist so right yeah no just hearing you talk about Sir Frederick Banting you know just the fact that it was such a historical event and what he did um, why is it so important for you and your foundation to really get that awareness out but also awareness about diabetes as well well, as I said, diabetes is a preventable, a type 2 at least, mm -hmm. is preventable up to 58%. Uh, type 1, it's educating people the challenges of living with it. Like, it's very challenging to, to live with such a disease, so we need to, to bring that out. And Banting, like, he grew up in our own backyard. Mm -hmm. Like, we need to bring awareness to that. Like, he's a pretty fantastic guy. He co-discovered insulin. He invented the, the blackout suits for the military. He lived in our community. He went to school in Toronto. 
Toronto. Like he's, he fought in our war. Like he's a fascinating guy. And the more that people know about history and, and, and our roots, the better it is, I think. So yeah. So how can people get involved? How can people learn more? Visit our website, bantinglegacy.ca, and contact me. Uh, if you want to volunteer, you want to help, please, please contact me. We need help. We need people to be fundraising. We need people on the site. We need people in the background. We're trying to redo our website. We're trying to do social media, and we need all hands on deck. So if people want to help out, reach out at info at bantinglegacy.ca and contact us. It'd be great, because we need the help. Perfect. And for the webinars, um, if there are any uh, school teachers or, or school boards that want to bring you into the classroom uh, or even for the webinars, how can they do that as well? Exactly. Same way. Contact me, info at bantinglegacy.ca, and I'm there, and I'll help you, and we'll set it up. It's very easy. Uh, you choose your platform. We do it on Google Meets, um, Teams, or Zoom, and you choose it, and the teacher sets it up themselves so that they're in full control of their classroom. And then there's participation in it, so the teacher does have to be present so that I can interact with your student. It's not a played video. It's I'm literally interacting with your class, with your group, with your school team. Perfect. So. And this is all your round oh, uh, yeah. do you perfect okay you have no end date for this right no we <laughs> just educate we just really want to get the message out about diabetes we are in the works of doing the banting side of the webinar we are revamping that and we're hoping to do that in the spring but right now with the, the webinar that we're offering is purely about living with type 2 diabetes living with type 1 diabetes and how you can prevent type 2 diabetes Perfect. So. Well, Kay, thank you so much for being in studio with yeah. us today. We hope that this webinar is able to educate and inform people about diabetes, but also Sir Frederick Banting as well. Yeah, come visit. We're at, in Alliston, so that'd be great. Thank you so much. Join us next time for more Info Simcoe.